All right, this is going to be a quick video on how to get your grades to sync with PowerSchool. So in Canvas. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go into your class. And then you're going to click Assignment. Then you're going to come over here all the way to the right where we've got three dots and click on that. And you're going to import assignment groups. Right. This is going to bring in your categories from PowerSchool into your course. So that once you go into your course and you go under where are we at? assignments, you should end up with it looking a little bit more like like this. So if you've done this correctly, you should see these pages. And underneath your assignments will be listed. Now, over here, you can see that this syncs it to PowerSchool. So if I wanted this to sync, so I wanted it to go to PowerSchool, I would, you know, click that. Yeah, well, yeah, the due date. Um, and this is published. So if you don't want them to see this, then you would unpublish that. Now, it helps if you make your percentages the same as you have them in PowerSchool. So you'll click on the three dots and you'll click on edit. And you're going to change the percentage. So if you've got classwork being 15% of the grade, then put 15 and so forth. So this is the first step that you have to do to be able to get these assignments to go into PowerSchool. The next thing you need to make sure you're doing is when you have your assignment, you're going to make sure you've got it open and then, so here we go. Okay, first you need to make sure that you put it in an assignment group so that when it goes into PowerSchool, it matches up and it will automatically label it as classwork homework or quiz or whatever. If you want it to sync to PowerSchool, you want to check this and you can change this. You can, you can change it later. Either way, once it's in there, you'd have to delete it out to get it back out. Um, you can also leave this unchecked and then later on, check it whenever you're ready. You also need to make sure that you have a due date. It will not go in if it doesn't have a due date. So let's say that's my due date. It's available from today. And I'm. you can give it, you can say, hey, that's it. Or you can give them some extra days, turn it in. And then now you're going to hit save. So then we can go to gradebook. Oh, I probably shouldn't do that actually because it's going to show the students' names. Anyways, you can go to gradebook. Let me see if I can get, here we go. That is demo course. All right. So if I'm in here and I go to grade book, there will be under action sync to PowerSchool. 
So you'll want to do that. The other thing I recommend is you definitely going to settings for your class and doing a couple things. One, going to feature options. And then looking through here and making sure some of this stuff is on. So post grades, we want that. Otherwise, it won't post it. Um, I like this so you can sort them. Uh, let's see. Journal, we don't need that. Uh, eh. log. It depends if this is normally if you have like a TA, somebody else grading. Um, moderated grading. Sometimes I like to turn on uh multiple, like even if I'm not going to use it, I just go down and turn it on. But these, I guess, are probably the important ones to make it actually go through. And that should be it. And at this point, if you've done all that, you should be able to get your grades to go into PowerSchool once you click Sync. And it will take anywhere from a half an hour to an hour for it to actually sync. So it's not immediate. It takes time. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. And if you should be able to check under here, maybe. I think it's under here. Yeah. Grade sync. So once it starts going, you'll, you can see in here if you've done it. And if it has an error, it will show that failed. Um, if it's in progress, you, you requested it's going, um, things like that. So grade sync is where you're going to see if you've synced it, if it's made it, if it hasn't. If you get an error and it's not one of the things that I mentioned, you will want to go to help down here and you'll probably have to Let's see, uh, guys, uh, no, um, report a problem. And that should be it.